Huge, huge faith in David Leach, you know, this is some, yeah, it's a heightened reality, you know, these characters are bombastic, they pop off the page, you know, it just gave you room creatively to kind of just go be bold and make some big choices, you know. Um, there were days where I felt like, did I push it a bit too far? Like, my character's just like says whatever the heck comes to his mind and we shot this in a pandemic, I had a lot of relentless unapologetic things to say so but that was the joy and the fun in it you know there was comedy in it so. i think i said every day i was like we need more blood like there was even times in between takes that we would all put blood in each other's mouths just to make sure that we had enough blood so no at this point it was like a bloody like summer camp so we there was no there was no limit with some slap happy delirium literally slap happy yeah that's the good way to describe it because the slapping made us happy so it was hard like you know that time we were filming it was the pandemic and we were all isolated we didn't know we weren't meeting any new people and luckily we got to meet uh these new people and create a family unit it was really really fun and i think it translates in the film for sure was it as funny on the page or did that come out during filming funny on the page it got funnier on the day yeah. and now and then it got funnier when it was all put together and you're gonna see yeah. it it's up there yeah it really it's pretty is. pretty fun <laughs> sure you want to talk this out don't stick it in on okay but what makes it different with uh david leach being his stunt background you know, he knows about the action very well. And then I worked with him before. Maybe this is his third movie together. Mm -hmm. So it was easy to collaborate. And then, yeah, he knows drama and action, everything. So that, that's why this movie has a great balance between drama, action, comedy. He has a great sense for all of them. I'm just a fan of David Leach's and just to be a part of his, uh, his movie and his choreography. It's the coolest action choreography I've ever seen in my life. And to be a part of that, it's just so much fun. In the marketing material, we see violence, bright colors, goofiness, and disco. Uh, I'm very excited for what you're doing tonally here. Was there ever a moment where you were like, all right, we might be getting a little too bonkers with this and have to take a step back? Uh, never me. I think we were, um, it was a reaction to what we were feeling outside during COVID. You know, we'd all been trapped in our, our homes for so long. And I think we got to come out and play and we just opened up the big crayon box and it was like we picked all the bright colors and um, we knew we wanted to make something um, fun and original and so everything led us to this you know spectacle of uh, madness that you see today and david fosters that on set it's like best idea wins and bring them all and let's play and i think um honestly the sort of bubble of COVID allowed for that a little bit too because they were like in a train car and then they had led screens around them and then the rest of the crew was actually around that so they had this tiny little safe space and they just went wilder and wilder <laughs> <People> <laughs> trying to make each out. other laugh they were trying to cut each other up totally people were working out some stuff they were working out some stuff <laughs> i am really really excited about the action that i got to do this year i mean what a what an amazing experience because i filmed the princess after i filmed bullet train and so i actually got to work out in a 87 north at david's gym um, to train for the princess and, and ask him for some tips in this crazy world of fighting it was great well for me it's very special because I started training David before he started doubling Brad Pitt. So this was over 20 years ago, and then he went on to double him in Fight Club, and then you know Mr. and Mrs. Smith. So, you know, a 25-year history. Now I'm co-producing with him. We got a film and TV series in development. So, to watch him do his thing and his magic in front of the, uh, behind the camera now is incredible because he's got the eye with action, but he's always been the guy with comedy. Like he cannot. He cannot talk, he cannot be with other people without bringing in the funny, right? And so it reflects in everything that he does. It's no, you know, it's no surprise that Deadpool 2, right, was, was the most viewed rated R film, you know, in history. Uh, so that's David. In his mind, there was a question about, you know, who was going to star in the film because of the lack of comedy and it was, you know, much more serious. But then he told me about the first conversation with Brad and how Brad pitched him this whole idea of making it funny and bringing in the comedy and drawing from so many different things. And he's like, oh, he goes, after that, there was like zero doubt in my mind that 
you know, one, Brad was the right guy, and yes, like, let's go. Let's move forward with this. This is my first real big red carpet. Like, I come from a beauty pageant background. I was Miss Nevada USA in 2016, so oh, okay. I did do that kind of stuff, but, like, this is, like, my first real big project that I've worked on. So this is my first real red carpet, and I'm so honored to be here. The biggest night I feel like I've had in my life. <laughs> I mean, it's it's so action-packed, but it has, like, this really kind of, like, funky, fun vibe, but I'm not that surprised just because of working with the director and everything. Like, it's, it, this movie has everything, so it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to see it. For you, is that just like a beautiful playground to mess in musically because there's so much going on genre and tone-wise? I mean, I couldn't have said it better. It's the best playground you could ever be in. I, no genre was off the table for me. I could do anything. He, he, he encouraged me to swing for the fences and be bold, and I did. I mean, I, I was trying to just blend any any genre together you know I was taking to use a very bad analogy I was taking like truffle ravioli with a sprite you know what I mean try and seeing if they worked um, you know taking like trip hop with classical does it work yes oh wow that's great and I'd run with that so it's so great having David's and Kelly's trust from the very from the word go we just clicked and I'm gonna give almost full credit to David Leach who obviously Revenge. came in and really pushed it as far as he could and I think so it takes a really talented there. director to make that actually make sense and not be insane so I mean I think that David is such a good collaborator and he's so you know well communicative in what he wants to do that it's it's easy even if you don't necessarily see what he's going for to believe that whatever it is is gonna turn out as awesome as the movie turned out so and honestly so much of the comedic bits kind of came out of like Brad and just him kind of pushing it as far as he could and he had such a good time with it and, and kind of made it his own that I think the movie caught a little funnier once he kind of just started rolling with it. Maybe there was a little head trauma? Maybe. I just don't think anything ever really equates to working on a Brad Pitt giant David Leach summer blockbuster movie. It's, it's going to be pretty hard to top this anytime in the future. I was like a new actor in LA and I auditioned for this and I was like there's no way I'm going to get it. I was non-union when I got this and when I booked it, I was like, oh my God, Like it, it can happen. Dreams do come true. I mean, it's, it's a small role, but it's a big opportunity. To be part of this project, it's just an honor, you know what I mean? And yeah, it's a crazy red carpet, pink carpet. So you're Mrs. Wolf. Yes, I am Mrs. Wolf. Uh, are you a fan of Bad Bunny? I'm a big fan of Bad Bunny. That he was shyer than I thought he was going to be. Have you seen him perform it? Yeah, yeah. I was like... He's a big and, personality. Yes, and then when, he, when we were like working together, he was like... You know, but he was very, he was very sweet. That was the thing. He was very sweet. To be a reggaeton singer, he was a sweetheart. When I did the audition, I was like, there's no way I'm going to get this. There's no way. This is a big project. Like, they're going to have, like, I don't know, like a big Latin actress doing this role, you know? So when I booked it, I was like, I prepared myself for two months before going on set, you know, to be working with this amazing director who was very sweet to me, very... He was great. I love David. He was a, a great human to me. He had more confidence in me than I have myself, and that was very sweet. Like, I really appreciate that. I, I gotta get off this train.